Have you ever mixed a guitar or vocal really well and wanted to save those effects to be used over and over again? This is called making a preset and it's simple to do in FL Studio. Making presets makes replicating effects across your songs easy, giving your music a signature sound. Presets can be used in many situations, but there are some instances where you should not use any. We'll get into why in a second, but first let's go over how to make one in the first place. For this example, I'm gonna make an old radio effect and save it as a preset. When I think of an old radio, I think of a small, unkempt radio with one speaker. To replicate these qualities, three different mixing techniques come to mind. Distortion, EQ, and stereo imaging. Let's start with distortion. Old stereos don't have the cleanest sound, so I'm gonna open up the mixer channel and add some distortion to our vocal sample. Make sure whatever sounds you're trying to affect is routed to the same mixer channel you're adding effects to. As you can see, our vocal is routed to mixer channel two, so this is where I'll be putting my effects. Let's add a destructor. Turn off everything but the distortion and adjust it until it has a good amount of grit. Radio, woo. Great. Now we got some good distortion. The smaller the speaker, the less frequency output you would have. To replicate this, we'll open up Fruity Parametric EQ2 and cut out some of the lows and highs to get a thinner sound. Next, we'll boost the resonance towards the highs. Radio, woo. I find that this brings us closer to that radio sound. After that, let's go to the stereo separation knob and bring it all the way to mono. Since smaller radios only have one speaker, there's only one source that the sound can come from. Because of this, it only makes sense to have it in mono. Now that we have all the effects we want, let's turn it into a preset. Right click the mixer channel, go to file and select save mixer track state as. Call it whatever you want and hit save. Now when you want to load your preset, all you have to do is right click the mixer channel, go to file and select open mixer track state. Let's say you only want to save one effect. Go to the effect and left click the drop down arrow from the top left corner. Click save preset as and call it whatever you want. Now when you want to load your presets, all you have to do is click browse presets. Presets save you a lot of time, but there are some instances where you shouldn't use a preset. I'm sure you've heard of using vocal mixing presets to save time during the mixing process, but this can actually affect your mix negatively. Each song is unique and copying and pasting the same preset across each song won't give you the same results. If you're curious as to why, check out this video on why you shouldn't use vocal presets for your songs. Thanks so much for watching and show your genius.